security, access, utilization, and stability. As of now, Malaysia is still not able to achieve those four pillars, making our country ranked 41st among 113 countries based on the Global Food Security Index 2022. One of the main reasons our country hasn't able to achieve a sustainable food security is because of the nation's food processing. According to the Health Ministry's Food Safety and Quality Division, chemicals such as acrylamide and glycidol are possible contaminants produced during food processing. Not only that, but other substances may also make its way in our food during the process. In 2022, a batch of eggs imported from a farm in Malaysia to Singapore was sent back due to the presence of a bacterium which causes food poisoning. If we turn a blind eye on this issue, not only other countries will lose our trust, but it will also affect the economy and the people's health. That is why Malaysia should take this opportunity to be in par with developed countries in using nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is a technology on the nanometer scale and deals with the atoms, molecules, or the micromolecules with the size of estimating from 1 until 100 nanometer to create and use materials that have novel properties. Nanomaterials and nanoparticles are important terms in the production of nanosensor. Nanosensor are chemical or mechanical sensor that can be used to detect the presence of chemical species and nanoparticles. In addition, Nanosensors can send and respond in the form of signals. Compared with the shortcomings of traditional sensors, nanosensors possess various advantages characteristics. For example, high sensitivity, stability, robust response, portability, real-time detection, and selectivity. Nanomaterials used in their nanosensors can enhance other essential attributes. They have been also found to be stable at high temperature and pressures. The arrangement of nanosensors is just like that of ordinary sensors but with results produced at the nanoscale. Therefore, the definition of a nanosensor is a particularly small device selectively bound to an analyte that produces a certain signal. Nanotechnology offers complete food solutions from food manufacturing, processing, to packaging. In food processing, this nanostructure can be used as food additives, carriers for smart delivery of nutrients, anti caking agents, antimicrobial agents, fillers for improving mechanical strength and durability of the packaging material, whereas food nanosensing can be applied to achieve better food quality and safety evaluation. Smart packaging is categorized under an advanced generation of packaging, which incorporates nanosensors that react to the physical or chemical change in food samples within the packaging to delay spoilage or contamination. Various assets such as mechanical, thermal, and optical features of nanosensor possessing nanocomposites are used to enhance the properties of foodstuffs to extend shelf life and maintain freshness and quality by regulating the route of unwanted gases and moisture through the packaging material. Nanosensor in the form of an electronic nose or tongue can also be used for detecting chemicals released during spoilage of food by placing them in direct contact with the packaging material to ensure better quality. These nanosensors are in the form of buttons placed upon the packaging material which help in detecting the change in color. This technique can also be used to indicate whether or not packaged food is stored under optimum condition. Moreover, pathogenic bacterial detection in food materials is mainly achieved by identifying the bacterial genetic material or whole bacterial cell. Nanoparticles assisted DNA isolation and bacteria detection was less time consuming and more sensitive than other conventional methods. Magnetic iron oxide nanoparticles have been used for isolating DNA of pathogenic bacterium listia monocytogen. Other types of nanoparticles that are used in detecting pathogen bacteria during food processing is gold. This process is conducted by electrochemical method to detect the presence of salmonella in food. So, in order for the people of our nation to have an access to a sufficient, safe and nutritious food, for a healthy life, we, as the new generation, need to stand up and initiate a transformative paradigm to our beloved country, Malaysia.